more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pump full of cats. Today I'm going to walk you through my Minutemen Castle Mega Build. As we walk up here, we'll take a look at the Provisioner Stand, a place for them to take a rest. There's my guard towers. I have a couple of shotgun turns, machine gun turns, guard in the doorway. As we come in here, you see my beautiful courtyard with the concrete floors I got in Snap and Build Greenhouse Mod. I just love the floor so much. The grass was sticking through, so I just ended up disabling that. These are all the buildings I put in. Got a cafe. We'll just start right here at the armor and gun stand. Have the vault tech guy there selling the armor. Come over here to the general store. Have a hidden wall here with a door. The secret door to the back of the castle. In case you gotta get out in a hurry. I really don't like the demolished walls look, so I just kinda covered that all up and added this. We're gonna come over here. This is a if you work, foyer to the staircase to get into the bar, which we'll take a look at here in a little bit. This is the clothing store. I have it all stocked up. And here is the power armor crafting station. I build all my power armor here until I have a complete set. Another look at the courtyard. I just love the floor. It really come out nice. I spent a lot of time putting that together. We're gonna come into the cafe now. I do have the settlers set up on pads, at least some of them, so I don't have stands. They just stand there at the counter for me. This is my crafting room, this is where I put all my supplies and do all my crafting for my mods. Got my X01 power armor there. Come over here, we'll take a look at the hospital. I have a clinic and hospital thing with the nurse and doctor there to take care of the Minutemen that are coming in from the field getting hurt this is the staff area this is where the nurses and the doctors stay stay on call and whatnot over here we have my institute teleportation device this is the snap and build greenhouse I was telling you about yeah very nice mod I like it the first look at my watchtower turns. We'll walk down here towards this foyer that takes you to the courtyard. I really love that. Simple but nice. Here we take a look at my residence hall. There's all the rooms and beds. I have the only toilet in the whole facility. Kind of neglected those. Come up here. Got an ice chest to keep everything cool when they want to drink. This is where Preston ends up sleeping. I don't know why. We'll come up here. We have another little deck to look over everything. As we come downstairs, we'll take a look at my another room I didn't end up putting a picture in, I should have. Down here was supposed to be Preston's room, but he does not want to sleep in there for some odd reason. So we come around here, we'll take a look at my second watchtower. Walk up this catwalk, one more look at the residence hall from the other side. You see my courtyard where it lines up with the antenna, my third watchtower. They're all a little different. I was trying to get the settlers to walk up there right, but they just don't pass. We'll come in here. We'll go take a look at my bar. I stuck with a regular stand for it. I decided I liked the bar sign. I couldn't find one in the mod I was using to that satisfied me. We'll walk up here. and This is my overwatch deck area where you can take a look at the 
the Commonwealth. We'll just come over here and sit down and take a look. Nice view. Now we're going to come take a look at my deck that overlooks the courtyard. You can see my beautiful floor again. I'm so proud of it. I have a statue on top of this building. It looks really nice over there. Now we're going to go take a look at the kitchen. This is the kitchen. It's kind of dark. I should have brightened the lights up a little bit more. Now we'll take a look at my power armor stations with some supplies about. behind them. Lockers. So the Minutemen can get in there fast and get in their power armor and defend the castle. This is where I keep all my collectibles. Bobbleheads and magazines. Nuka-Cola. The stand isn't working right. I have over 60 in it. More power armor stations. Preservation station just in case we get hit by a nuke. There's some supplies there for it as well. We're going to come in here and take a look at my security room. I'm really proud of it. I filled it out nice. Lots of supplies for that and the mods. This is another supply area. Well, well stocked. Now we'll just come around, go out front and swing around the back here. It might take a minute because it's around there, but I have a generator room over there. It's getting kind of dark out, so it might be a little dark. I do have a darker mod installed, so it is quite a bit darker than normal. This is my generator room. I have five 45 watt generators and five 10 watt generators. I have over 990 water production going on back here, which is enough to supply all my settlements as long as I don't have my recruit beacons on and max them out. I have to add more if I do that. And that's it. I'm just going to walk off over here and let you take one more look at the front of my castle. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.